What's up, motherfuckers? General Destroyer coming back for another video. Now, as you all know, I'm a great person. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a great friend. I help friends whenever I can. Uh, a lot of people know that I'm recommending the Nokia Lumia 920. I had a, a lot of people actually go out and buy it because of me, and they love it. They love the device. They're telling me, yo, man, I'm so glad I listened to you. I'm 100% satisfied with this purchase. And then you got the friends that just don't listen. You know, you tr you try to be... You, you, you try to be a friend, you know, you try to be a good friend. And some of these guys just don't listen. See, I have a particular buddy here. He's a big Android guy. You know, he's never had a Windows 7 phone device, never tried Windows, nothing. You know, he's just stuck on Android and he didn't listen. You know, he didn't listen. He went out down the Best Buy, AT&T, whatever, you know, pranced down a little store and picked up a Galaxy Shit 3. And uh, when, when I found out, I was like, oh, no. No, what did this guy just do? I even told him, bro, why would you buy this? Why would you buy this garbage? I mean, when you're buying Galaxy shit 3, you're at the, you're at the back of the line, you know? You're sniffing our asses. Then right now, the Nokia Lumia 920 right here is King Dingling. We're at the top of the ladder. You know, we're the best right now. Why would you do that, you know? When you know our friend over here and our friend over here are purchasing and they love it. They love it. Why would you go against what I'm, what we're trying? And we're all telling them, you know, this, this device is amazing. And he don't listen, you know, that, but that, what's, what, that's what to expect from Android fanboys. They, they don't care, you know, uh, quality just flies out the window when, when, when you talk about Android device. I mean, but what do you expect? I mean, these Android guys, they, they, they their best devices are, are made by Samsung. I mean, the ugliest looking phones, the cheaply plasticky, ugly lag fest malware infested devices what do you expect you know samsung galaxy shit 3 and galaxy chokes 2 are the best devices these android uh folks have <laughs> they don't know quality they don't know quality like nokia or not these i feel bad for these guys they don't know quality but i'm rambling on besides uh, i want to get down to this article that i read and actually my buddy tweeted this and i had to make a video on this i mean i don't know who wrote this article but whoever did oh jesus bless your little soul because this article looked like it was written by a fucking kid a 12 year old kid now let me get down to the nitty-gritty they put basically th th this is the article five reasons why the galaxy shit three is better than the nokia lumia 9 <laughs> I can't even finish the sentence without laughing because it's just that much of a joke. It's a joke. A joke gone awfully wrong because a destroyer is going to dissect it piece by piece. <laughs> Either way, five reasons why the Samsung Galaxy Shit 3 is better than the Lumia 920. Okay. Number one, slightly bigger screen. That's the magic word, slightly. The Galaxy Shit 3 has a 4.8. The Lumia has a 4.5. Okay, so because it's bigger, it automatically makes it better, right? Who has the higher resolution? What screen has the higher PPI? What screen has the fastest refresh rate of any smartphone screen? What screen has the most responsive screen you could fuck around, touch with a banana, uh, boxing gloves, or whatever? <laughs> the Nokia Lumia 920 has the better screen, period, hands down. I would sacrifice the size of a screen for the quality of this screen. I don't care if it's bigger. I want better. I want the best screen. These guys didn't mention that. They didn't mention any of that. They just said it's better because it's bigger. No, the Lumia 920 screen is better because everything else in it is better. The resolution, the PPI, the refresh rate, it is better. You see, these guys are blind. They don't, they don't know. They're just making up these excuses to try to make their phone sound so amazing. I know they feel bad. They're damage controlling. But hey, what do you expect when they carry around junk? Okay, let's go move on to the second reason. A faster processor. Okay, we know the Samsung Galaxy has a quad-core Exynos processor. The, the Lumia has a dual-core processor. Let me ask you one question, okay? What's the point of having four processors when, for one, your phone doesn't use it? And for two, you have the worst software that will make your phone, those processors, lag, period. I mean, lag, choppiness, 
uh, malware infested. Android is a horrible software. It makes those quad cores, dual cores lag. It didn't matter. It doesn't matter if you would get 10 cores, 100 cores in the Samsung Galaxy device that has Android software because it would still lag. It will still be choppy. It will still freeze. It will still catch malware. That is no, no reason of why it's better. That, that, that should be thrown out the window. I have a Lumia 900, okay? My Lumia 900 has one freaking processor. One freaking processor. I had a Galaxy shit too and a Galaxy Note, okay? Now I guarantee, and I, I promise you this, my, my Lumia 900 with one processor was faster, smoother, most responsive, and did not freeze like my Galaxy shit too or my Galaxy Note. Simple as that. And you know what? Because it has to do with more than the cores of processors and all this shit has to do a lot with the hardware and the software and sadly android software is just it doesn't matter the amount of cores you're gonna have this thing's gonna lag and it's gonna be shit all over the place it's caca it's poo poo it's gonna have poo all over the place <laughs> poo poo you smell that oh i smell a gam sam dunn galaxy shit screen uh with all these cores but they poo poo all over the place because it's just lag fest that's all it is. So that's not no excuse. Third, expandable storage. I can give this a valid point for the people that want to spend money for a little fucking chip. You stick the chip up your ass, you put it in your phone, and you have more memory. Let me tell you something. I mean, I, that, that's a valid point. But let me see. Look, I, I've had iPhones. I've had an iPhone with the 8 gig. I've had an iPhone with the 16 gig. And I've had more than enough space with the 8 gig or the 16 gig for all the things I wanted. I've never really filled up those, those gigs and said, man, I wish I had more gigs. The Lumia 920 comes with 32 gigs built in. That's more than enough that I'm what I'm ever going to need. And I have tons of music, tons of pictures, tons of apps. You don't need any more. This is overkill. You know what? So that's an advantage just because, you, I mean, yeah, if you want to put the super amount of space, then that's fine, Jesus Christ. The, the, you know, you want all that space, that's fine. You know, but you're going to spend more money. I mean, if you call advantage of spending more money for a little fucking chip, then fine. You can call it an advantage. But for a person like me, and I, I do a lot of stuff on my phone, uh, 32 gig is more than enough, hands down, period. Now, the next thing is pop-up play. Samsung Galaxy 3 allows you to watch videos while doing other things in your smartphone. Okay, let me get this straight. So, it, allow, it allows you to watch videos while you're doing other things in the phone. Okay, now, let me ask you guys one question. How? How are you going to watch a video while you're texting somebody over here? <laughs> How are you going to watch, watch a video when you're on another screen texting a girl? Hey, what's up, bitch? Can I lick your bun buns? Because they look so delicious tonight. I'll take you to Olive Garden and we can have some fun all night. <laughs> While the video is playing in the background. How is that? How are you going to watch a video while you're doing other things? This is stupid. Was this article written by a fucking five-year-old kid? A child? I don't understand this. How is that cool? How is that? How are you going to watch a video while you're texting or while you're emailing or doing some other things? I, I, I just don't understand the, the, the stupidity that comes out of these Android and Sam Dunn Galaxy shit fanboys. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't understand. I don't comprehend it. Okay. Last, removable battery. Whoa. So another reason why the Sam Dunn Galaxy shit 3 is better than Lumina 920 is because it has... A removal battery. Okay, here. Let me show you this. This is my kids. This is my kids' cheap ass phone. I buy them cheap ass phone. Okay. Now look at this. You want removal battery? Okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa! What do do? Look at this. I have a removal battery. This makes my phone so much better than yours, and it makes me feel so secure about my phone purchase because I have a removal battery. So, because this phone here, this cheap ten dollar phone here, has a removable battery, it makes it better than my Gallic, uh, my 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 Sam, uh, Sam Dung. Who in the fuck? Somebody's talking about me. My Lumia Nine Twenty. My Lumia. It makes it better than my Lumia Nine Twenty because it has a removable battery. A ten dollar phone even has fucking removable battery. This has. This makes nothing. This does not make your phone better at all. 
Whoa, look at this, guys. My phone's so much better than yours because I can take out the fucking battery. Look at, slide it across my ass, sniff it, and throw it up. And I, oh, man, this makes me so secure. Mm, look at this nice looking battery. Oh, look at the specs right here. Look at all these little words that I can't even fucking read. This makes my phone so much better than these other phones. <laughs> You know things are getting desperate for these people when they're coming up with reasons like this, removal battery, a pop-up play, and stupid shit like that to try to justify and make a point that it's better than Luminance. Let me explain something to you guys. This goes to all the Android guys, the iPhone guys, the Samsung shit guys. You're pro look, look, Samsung makes cheap-ass products. Very ugly design, very cheaply, plasticky, flimsy, lag-fest. The software on Android is also lag-fest, malware-infested. It's just garbage, trash, caca, poo-poo all over the place. You guys, okay, if you're not rolling with a Nokia Lumia 920, you ain't, you, you ain't rolling with the best. Simple as that. This phone's got the best screen, the most responsive screen, the fastest refresh, the highest resolution, the best looking design, the best reliability, the best camera, the best video camcorder, the best speaker phone. I can keep going for, for days. I mean, th this phone is unstoppable, untouchable by any device out there on the Android market. Even the iPhone 5, you can't touch this. This is a king dingling, okay? So quit making up these stupid articles trying to feel good about yourself because you're last place, okay? You guys are down there. We, Nokia owners, Lumia, we're up here, okay? We're up here. You're down there. How does my nuts taste? How does our nuts taste in your Sam Dung mouth? <laughs> and Sam Dung, how does Nokia's mouth uh, nuts taste? How does Nokia's nuts taste to you guys? Because they make the best products. And that's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will put the link of this article in the description so y'all guys can laugh at that shit just like I did. So basically, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. Peace.